today's gonna be a Thailand fast food day. For breakfast, a local McDonald's. And the unique thing on the menu is their kanji. So there's fish kanji, there's pork kanji, you get fried egg on top. Also, I got some pot and coal or fried dough with condensed milk and some Maggie sauce to go with the kanji. You need the fried egg, there's chives, and the pork is really just cut up breakfast sausage. Add some Maggie sauce for some added flavor. That is not a half bad boil kanji. More Maggie sauce. The rice is broken up a lot to the point where it's almost kind of creamy. I like the nice crunch from the scallions. Breakfast sausage and kanji gives off a nice porky and fatty flavor. And the breakfast sausage here in Thailand, it doesn't have that in the sausage here in Thailand, it lacks that breakfast sausage-y, chemically flavor that's in the US sausages. So this sausage actually tastes really good. Very clean flavor, very porky and fatty. Nothing else. Fried dough is piping hot. Feels like it just came out of the fryer. Break it apart. You can break off little pieces and just put it right in the kanji. And because the fried dough is so airy, once you kind of squeeze it and it re inflates again, it's gonna soak up a lot of that delicious kanji. Mm. Yeah, these two items were made for each other. Also, what I really like, because the fried dough just came out of the fryer, it's nice and crispy. So even though it's soaked in the kanji and it sucked a lot of the kanji inside, well, you still get a nice crunch when you bite down. Mm. That's delicious. They also give me some condensed milk to dip this in, which is another great way to eat this. If you get three, I recommend saving one just for dessert purposes and put the rest into the kanji. The only thing I wish they had was white pepper. That would make this a whole lot better. Let's see if they have it. 10 seconds later. Don't see white pepper, but definitely appreciate the Maggie sauce. Honestly, the texture of this kanji, about as good as any kanji I've had anywhere. I give this a solid A, especially with a fried dough. Lunch, it's always gonna be at McDonald's. This looks really interesting. First of all, McDonald's here just started incorporating fried chicken. So I got a spicy fried chicken. Krapao means holy basil, so it's basically stir-fried pork with holy basil. I see some chilies in here as well. That is on the side of rice. I got a pineapple pie, a spicy chicken sandwich, and then this is really cool. This is what they call a cheesy beef dunk burger. So they give you bits of bacon and cheese and you dunk the burger into the bacon and cheese. I'm gonna start with the fried chicken first. By the way, this is a pipe and hot piece of chicken. It just came out of the fryer. This is a really good, really spicy piece of chicken. First of all, the chicken is really crispy. Perfectly fried, deliciously juicy. The outside has a massive, loud, earth-shattering crunch. I mean, listen to this. And after a few bites, you know this was made in Thailand. Wow, this is the spiciest chicken I ever had at McDonald's, including all their chicken sandwiches. I mean, this heat goes all the way from the tip of your tongue to the bottom of your throat. It has a good kind of burn. And if you want more burn, they also have chili sauce on tap. Look how juicy this chicken is. It's beautiful. You can dunk it into the chili sauce. The chili sauce is more of a slow heat, but there's definitely heat. The sweet, rich glaze goes really well with the spicy fried chicken. This is a 10 out of 10. If you look inside, you can see the hot oil bleeding into the meat of this chicken. This is by far the spiciest piece of fried chicken I've had anywhere, including Jollibee, Popeyes, Signature Thailand. I love this. Next up, the spicy chicken sandwich. Oh my goodness, I think this is spicier than the fried chicken. You can definitely see all the spice almost going towards the center of the piece of chicken. This is at least 50% spicier than the fried chicken itself. And that makes this absolutely delicious. It's like a burning inferno in my mouth right now. I'm sweating at a McDonald's with full on AC. The sandwich itself is juicy. Outside batter, just as loud, just as crunchy as the fried chicken. Mm. 
Ah, Chase was on fresh. All right, let's try this dip burger. I'm so excited to try this. So either they sell this with a chicken sandwich or a beef burger. I got the beef burger and they give you a tray of bacon bits and a tray of cheese. You dunk the burger into the cheese and then you dunk it into the bacon bits. Holy moly. Mm, wow. This thing is crunchy, it's beefy, it's incredibly cheesy, and it's one of the best things I ever had at McDonald's anywhere in the world. What a concept, dunking this in a little tub of cheese and adding crispy bacon. The bacon is so crispy, by the way. And the cheese, of course, is the perfect vehicle to pick all those little crispy bits of bacon up. So now every single bite of what was just a regular burger is now a quotillion times better. So this cheese is so gooey and delicious. I wish they had this in the US. This is amazing. Dunk your fried chicken into it. Add some bacon onto that. Dunk your pie into it. Just, just kidding, I'm not dunking my pie into that. Last dish, the cow crapau pork. This is the same cut up bits of breakfast sausage. Oh, this breakfast sausage is getting a lot of use here. You definitely see the basil, the chilies, the sauce. Mmm. I mean, I already said, I like the pork sausage. And the sauce they cover this in, it's spicy, it's definitely really basil-y. A little sweet, this is really good. Especially using local Thai rice. Just makes this dish even more fragrant, even better. And then if you want, you sprinkle some bacon bits onto this as well. Finally, pineapple pie. Mmm, crispy out of shell, juicy pineapple, awesome. I wish though, places like Thailand where there's just so much exotic fruits, I wish they would do something like a, like a mango steam pie or like a lychee pie. But imagine, mango steam, the queen of fruits pie? I think that'd be spectacular. This overall though, splendid McDonald's meal. Love the breakfast, love the lunch, that dipping burger. I wish everybody would copy the dipping burger. All right, finish my food and um, I'll see you guys for fast food dinner. So Dairy Queen here has a whole mango line of blizzards and desserts. So I got a mango blizzard with mango jelly on top. Oh, this is the greatest thing I think I've ever had at Dairy Queen. Oh, wow. This is by far the best Dairy Queen blizzard. Rich and milky and extremely mango-y. The mango jelly on top, not overly sweet. A little chewy. Tastes like they just blended fresh mingles with ice cream. Maybe that's just what they did. But this is delicious. This is a Dairy Queen mango sticky rice sundae. So there's pandan sticky rice here. Mango sauce on top over soft serve. Cool. It basically just tastes like mango sticky rice a la mode. They also have ones with fresh slices of mangoes on it. This mango sauce basically just tastes like ground up mangoes. Honda and sticky rice is delicious. Not as good as the blizzard, but really, really good. Dinner is at Thailand KFC. It has some really cool stuff. First of all, these are their zap wings. These look like super saucy barbecue wings. And very crispy on the outside too. Wow. <laughs> That smells really sweet. This is so, so good. Definitely not fresh out of the fryer, so the skin is not as crispy as it potentially could have been. But when you take a bite, first thing you taste is a hit of garlic. The skin is still crispy. I can just imagine what it tastes like fresh out of the fryer. The chicken is tender, it's spicy, my tongue is tingling. My tongue starts tingling about three seconds in. Smoky, this sauce is delicious. Not overly sweet at all. It's perfect. KFC also has their own version of chili sauce. It's more like a sweet and sour sauce. With a little hint of spice. More citrusy than anything else. Also, I got a piece of hot and spicy chicken with my uh, chicken bowl combo. This is a crispy piece of chicken. Skin is super crispy and airy. On the inside, you can see all the chilies marinating into the chicken. 
This does have a little heat. The McDonald's spicy chicken, so much spicier, so much better. I mean, it's a good piece of chicken. Really crispy on the outside, inside, very juicy, very nice piece of chicken. It's lacking that heat though. This one tastes like a hot chicken you would get in the US. Not Thailand. The zap wings taste so much better. Also included, chicken nugget. That's a good piece of chicken nugget. Very crispy on the outside. Inside tender chicken, that's good. This I'm really excited about. This is the spicy chicken bowl. So crispy chicken, there's some scallions, there's some shallots, onions, all over rice. So it's not a very saucy bowl, it's more of a dry ingredients bowl. Mm. Kind of like eating a dry rice version of Tom Yum. It's basically like Tom Yum fried chicken. All the heat I was missing from that piece of spicy chicken. It is all here. Definitely added a ton of chilies to this bowl. Oh, my mouth is on fire right now. This is a no joking round burning bowl of chicken rice. Mm. The chicken pieces are very savory. I think the powder that's on the outside, it's okay. My problem with this is the rice is not the typical really fragrant rice that you find. It kind of tastes like leftover rice almost. The chicken pieces are more citrusy and spicy than flavorful. Maybe add a little chili sauce to it. I think it's a little better with the chili sauce. Overall, just okay. I also got this, a tuna corn salad. Kind of looks like a, like a really soupy tuna salad with vegetables mixed in. Oh, this is really sweet, like really, really sweet. There's pineapple in this. It's basically a fruit and vegetable salad submerged in a pool of tuna. Finally, these are shrimp donuts. This is hot from the fryer. It's shrimp fried in sticky rice. So it's got a very mulchy texture. Pretty greasy. Kind of just like a Yibi burger. The one you get from McDonald's Japan. It's not bad. Thicky rice good. It's fried nicely. Subtle little crunch on the outside. Overall, very, very impressed with the McDonald's here in Thailand. KFC. I think it's okay. Nothing bad about it. But I think the wow factor at the McDonald's was just way up here. And the chicken, it just can't fly that high. But if you do come to KFC in Thailand, definitely get these zap wings. I have to hurry up and eat. Got a flight to catch. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again.